Hello viewers, today we will show you the sample preparation procedure which is very crucial to analyze it in atomic absorption spectrometer. Dry ashing is the most common method to prepare samples for heavy metals and minerals analysis. If you are new to the microchemist experiments, welcome. We can prepare our sample by following 5 steps. Diluent preparation, crucible preparation, sample incineration, sample dilution and filtration. To prepare a sample, we need a balance machine, hot air oven, hot plate, desiccator, muffle furnace, volumetric flask, crucible, funnel, filter paper, nitric acid, and deionized water. We will use one normal nitric acid as diluent to prepare our sample. Dilute 69.75 ml of 65% nitric acid in about 800 ml deionized water. Mix the solution by shaking. Now add deionized water to make the final volume of 1000 ml. First of all, we have to clean and dry porcelain crucible properly to avoid any sort of contamination. Wash crucible with soap, then nitric acid solution and finally with deionized water. Now dry the crucible in hot air oven for 90 minutes. In this step, we will burn our sample to make ash, being two properly cleaned and dried crucible. Label one crucible with sample ID. We will prepare sample in it. Label another with blank. Take about 2 grams of sample in a crucible labeled with sample ID. Cover the crucible immediately with its slate. We took sample in one crucible keeping another crucible left blank. Sample blank will be prepared in this blank crucible following every steps for the sample preparation except taking sample in it. Heat both of the crucibles on hot plate at 150 to 200 degrees Celsius. We can see smoke is coming out from the crucible containing sample.
discharge the sample until smoking ceases. After 30 minutes of heating, black burning sample is seen from which no smoke is coming out. Cover crucibles immediately with lead. Now place the crucible inside the furnace. For details about ashing sample, take a look at our video for determination of ash. Video link is given in the description section. Now incinerate the sample and blank at 525 degrees Celsius for 4 hours. After incineration, take out the crucibles from the furnace. If the ash color remains black, add 3 ml of 65% nitric acid and 3 ml deionized water into both of the crucibles followed by heating at 200 degrees Celsius until near dry and restart incineration at 525 degrees Celsius for another 4 hours. brought another additional ash sample along with the two crucibles. Let's gather everything needed for sample dilution and filtration. We will use one normal nitric acid as diluent to dilute the sample. Wash each of the volumetric flasks with the diluent. Now wash funnels with the diluent and place on every flask. Wash glass rods with diluent too. Now fold Wattman filter papers and place on the panels. about 30 ml of the diluent into each of the crucibles. Now we will filter our samples and blank. Mix and dissolve the ash with the diluent by stirring with a glass rod. Filter the diluted ash into the flask using the Wattman filter paper. Wash the lid with the diluent and filter into the flask. Wash the 
crucible with the diluent and filter again to ensure that no minerals or metals is left to transfer in the flask. Level the flask with the sample ID. Dilute and filter the sample one in the same way. Now prepare the sample blank in the same way. After filtration, remove each of the funnels. Take the solution level of the volumetric flasks. Level up to the mark with diluent if needed. Our sample is now ready for analysis in AAS. Dilute the sample along with the blank if necessary to the appropriate dilution if the iron concentration is higher than any other standards used to make the calibration curve. Some precautions should be followed to throw out the sample preparation. They are, to avoid contamination, crucible with smooth surface or platinum dish must be used. Ashing temperature should be between 450 to 525 degrees Celsius. Temperature exceeding 525 degrees Celsius can cause loss of trace elements, particularly copper and zinc due to volatilization. All activities should be done in a clean, dust-free room to avoid contamination. Prepare mineral and heavy metal standards according to our video for the standard preparation and analyze the prepared sample in AAS following our video for the iron analysis. Video links are given in the description section.